Good everybody, welcome along to One of a Dozen today. It is Sunday. It was a longer morning than normal because we put our clocks back last night here in Victoria and the southern states of Australia. So Victoria, New South Wales, Tasmania, South Australia, I think they'll do it as well. Uh, Queensland don't. So you guys, it's just the same for you guys up in Queensland. But for us, we got an extra hour of sleep because we put the clocks back, at, I think it was 2 a.m. and they do it back to, maybe it's 2 or 3 a.m. Then it goes back to an hour before. So in, so your day gets, actually gets a little longer. So today we've got a few things on the agenda. We've got to do the shopping later, but there is one thing that I really wanted to do today. The weather's um, starting to cool. We're well into our autumn now. So it kind of makes me, I don't know why I thought of this, maybe yesterday or maybe in the last week, I've thought of it once or twice, that it should be time to do some chili, cook some chili, because the weather's no longer, uh, you know, too hot where you don't want to eat really hot food. I'm gonna go and uh, get some of the ingredients, but I wanted to do something a little different. Rachel Rep suggested that this, and we, I think we'd spoken about it a while ago. To do our chili, we wanted to do a specific one where we do Walt's, uh, Walt Disney's that is, his personal recipe for chili. And we've got that here in this book, in the uh, Disney Parks official cookbook. Here we go. So, here's Walt's chili and beans. Now, I do a chili recipe, which is a similar chili recipe. Let's have a look at the recipe, and I just want to check how different it is from what um, I normally do. Yeah, this is good. I'll just take a photo of that to make sure I don't forget anything. Check what we've actually got already here and what we need. I've got the list of things we're gonna need for the chili ready to go. Some things we do have, we've got to pick up um, most of the ingredients and we'll get them from Coles. Uh, as we normally do all of our shopping, um, as you probably know if you watch us regularly, we do all of our shopping at Woolworths because we can get the Woolworths rewards points which then we convert into Qantas points. And we're gonna have a chat, very likely a sit down, talk about um, our Qantas points situation that we have going with that and um, we'll give you guys some um, information on that system, how it works, you know, the um, hopefully some tips and tricks that will help you um, get the best value out of your dollars that you're spending, um, not just at Woolworths but at other places that where you can get Woolworths rewards points, the same points for th buying things, other things other than groceries like fuel and things like that. Anyway, we'll get into all that in another vlog. The reason I bring it up is that we normally go, as I said, to Woolies and for that reason. But today I'm going to go to, we're going to go to Coles to get the stuff for the chili. Now the reason being is we still um, think and prefer ourselves the Coles brand minced beef over the Woolies one. For that reason, we're gonna to go to Coles today so Violet was having a nap, she's up, We're, that means we can all go. Rach is just finishing getting ready, the boys, I think the boys are ready to go. So next uh, next stop will be the shops. Serby, have you got some news? Yeah. What happened? My team came out. Do you want to see? Wow. Wow. Well, I can I, see the new one coming. I also saw my tree. You did. You got two new ones coming as well, don't you? That's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. And you were eating toast? What were you eating? Pizza. Uh, pizza. Yeah. And Wait, did you swallow it? Yeah, is there anything <laughs> pizza can't do? Well, it's good that it's finally out. We're all piled in again. Today we're going to do the, well, we're going to pick up the grocery shopping, as I said to you guys before. And uh, I, I know you, you want to go to Big W you. to get something. No, you want to go to Big W to get a baby I gate. I love you. Oh, baby love gate, you. yes. We find what we want. A baby gate. Oh, extra wide, yeah, okay. So that looks close to what we want. Both directions, easy close, one-handed operation for adults, suitable for doorways, hallways, and more. Pressure mounted, yep. Well, it's ticking a lot of boxes. Three meters with optional extensions, okay. Yep, okay. Yeah. 
how much dollars this is. I don't know, 35? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Oh. Is that really koala? Like that. Are they koalas? Yes. Yeah. Baby gate is light but can't fit in anything. Too big for a trolley. Um, and just awkward to carry around. So before we went and got the groceries, which are a click and collect, so we just got to go pick them up. They're uh, getting them ready for us now. Um, I brought the baby gate out, put it there. Rach is inside. The kids are just on one of the little little rides that they have in there while, uh, while I do that. So back inside, get the groceries and head home. That is done. Everyone is in. All the groceries are loaded up. Baby gate, everything is on board. We get ourselves home. We will have to make that stop at Coles on the way through to get stuff for chili. We just really dislike all this meat in general, especially the yeah. mints. Some of yeah. it's not bad, but the mints. The mints much prefer the Coles mints. Just it's just who it's just how we feel. Yeah. And and it's kind of like um. It depends on which supermarket too. So not all Coles meat's going to be good, but our Coles meat is good. Yeah, we do know that. Yeah. Um, the Coles that we have close to home um, is always good with yeah. its meat. And um, veggies and fruit. It's always really good quality. Yeah, I always find it to be good. So we would still go there if it offered the same loyalty yeah. program with Qantas points. We would. Yeah, it would be sure. easier. Coles would be our place. It would be our place. Yeah. But um, the Qantas points... Um, Everyday rewards and all of that is, is too good to pass up. I've got the extra wide baby gate. It may not be wide enough, even though it's extra wide. So I do have another extension piece, which looks to me like it might adapt and be all right with this one, we'll see. Let's get it in position and see how we go. Set up, but I had to use chocks because of the width of it. But it is set up. It should do the trick. One would hope. Time for dinner, and this is everything I got from the supermarket today, except for the cheese. We'll grab the cheese. We need the cheddar. We need the minced garlic, onion. We need chili, ground chili. A little bit of. Cayenne pepper, we won't be needing much of this because we don't want to overheat the food. So, cayenne pepper, onion powder and the cumin, along with the minced garlic. Vegetable oil will do the job. This is all we need, so let's get into it. We're just going to cook the uh, ground beef up as a start, get that sorted. Then we're going to do get the onion and dice these up. Onion and the pepper, or the capsicum, what we call the capsicum. Get those diced up, and all diced up, ready to go. Next step, cook the capsicum and onion in there now for the last 10 minutes. We're going to add the minced garlic, followed by all of our different spices, diced tomato, and our water and stock. That'll be next after that. Added in pretty much everything except for the beans, which you can see there. Everything else is in, just got to bring this to the boil for a few minutes, add the beans in, let it go for a few more minutes, and then we'll be done. Ready to go, got some grated cheddar cheese and some sour cream. So we'll add that right now. Just casting shadows because it's gone dark. Alright, there we go. Ready to go. Let's see what it tastes like. Very, very close to Walt's actual recipe according to a, an official Disney World cookbook. We're doing princess. Hmm? What are you doing here in the kitchen? <laughs> Violet, Violet, what are you doing? <laughs> what? What did you say? 
Do we have to clean up the rest, put the rest of the groceries away? We do, don't we? Violet. Violet, hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, very quick update on the chili. The verdict is the chili's good, but not as good as the chili that we have made before. That's it. It's good chili. Not as good as the way we were making it before. Can't really even explain why. It's just this less body or something in this chili, in this chili that we cooked today. It might have been the way I did it. I might not. Have, I might not have done it right. Might not have, the method I followed might not have been perfectly followed. <laughs> anyway, so I'm not blame, necessarily blaming the recipe, but we'll go back to our old way of doing it for next time. And it's not that different anyway. Much. It was very close. It wasn't a lot of difference in in the recipes anyway. So there you go.